I'm Dr Caroline Steady coles I'm a lecturer in Forensic Investigation at Staffordshire University. I work within the Forensic and Crime Science Department. Um, my area of expertise though is Forensic Archaeology and I also do consultancy for various UK police forces. I was fortunate in, enough to work with um, two lecturers at the University of Birmingham where I did my degree who were practicing forensic archaeologists and this was a subject that I didn't even know existed until I met them and they were very kind and took me out on casework from very early on in my university career. So essentially then I went on to a master's, PhD um, and specialised in a particular branch of archaeology, um, Holocaust archaeology, but very much drawing on the techniques from forensic archaeology in terms of searching for mass graves because of the fact that there are these sensitivities involved in the investigation of these sites that my work is entirely non-invasive so we don't do any excavation um, at the sites that we've been investigating um, so we're using other techniques so we're starting right at the beginning desk-based assessment re-looking at historical material aerial photography looking at photographic records witness testimonies and plans right the way through to then in-field survey measured survey geophysical survey which is capable of mapping below the ground so so this is probably very different from most people's impressions of archaeology. Um, it is also an emerging field in terms of applying these techniques to the Holocaust. They're very widely used in other areas of archaeology. But because of the sensitivities in the past, either these investigations haven't been undertaken or they've involved excavation and sometimes that has caused problems in terms of particularly Jewish halakha law which um, prevents the disturbance of human remains. It's taught me a lot and, and hopefully contributed to the um, narrative of the Holocaust in terms of finding physical evidence to either support or challenge what we think we know so far. So at Treblinka where, is a site where people thought there were no surviving remains, that the Nazis had been successful in eradicating all traces of the camp. We found a number of buried structures, we found traces of the original camp boundary, we found evidence of mass graves at the site and cremation pits. Um, at Staros Samistje in Belgrade, we've managed to map a lot of the surviving buildings which now are incorporated into residential areas, um, mechanics workshops, restaurants even, and we've gone back and really deconstructed the history of the site to look at what survives now and try and hopefully enact a memorial plan for that particular site which isn't commemorated at the moment in terms of the actual demarcation of these sites. I suppose the lack of closure for a lot of people even after all this time the Holocaust is still living in living memory some people either knew the people who were lost in the Holocaust or some are third maybe even fourth generation but it still affects them so if if archaeology can, can do anything, then I hope that it really is to try and provide closure for the families by giving them a, a concrete place to actually go and mourn by finding the mass graves and finding the sites and hoping, therefore, that we pass it on to future generations as well to continue to remember.